Everybody, welcome into Wager Talk TV. I'm Tony Mejia from SportsMemo.com, and we're going to talk about the final game for week one of the college football season. We had a week zero that was ushered in by Florida State, losing in Dublin in surprising fashion against Georgia Tech, and week one will close with Florida State again at home this time, playing another ACC game in upset-minded Boston College. The Eagles opened as a 17-point underdog, and money has come in on them uh, as they are now at 16 and a half. And actually, the number came down, uh, opened to 21, so I should correct myself on that, but it was very quickly bet down because it was a little too high, and then obviously Florida State lost. Did not look impressive on either side of the football up front. Uh, and so BC comes in as somewhat of a live dog, although if you like the revenge factor, and the bounce back factor, those are certainly in the Seminoles' favor, as will be the home field advantage that they will have at Toke Campbell Stadium. It was a really a tough debut for the Knowles. They had the best shot at a turnover in the second half, couldn't come up with it despite the fact that two of their defenders had the ball slip through their hands. And then uh, Georgia Tech was able to drive down the field on that same drive and score. Uh, a touchdown that really changed the complexion of that game. Uh, they held the ball and won it on a late field goal, uh, triumphing 24 to 21. DJ Uyagalele was somewhat impressive. Uh, he he played really well when he needed to the most, converted on a couple of key fourth down conversions. But I thought the game plan really hampered him. Uh, certainly, he took some checkdowns. But Florida State really didn't call many downfield passes for him, didn't let him establish a rhythm. Uh, and what I mentioned earlier, Florida State got manhandled up front when everybody assumed that their offensive line would be a strength and their defensive line would be a strength. Georgia Tech was able to control both fronts, and they ran the football and controlled possession as a result. Uh, Florida State does have two very good backs, uh, despite the fact that they lost so much talent on uh, that side of the ball in the offseason, they've got Alabama transfer Roy Dell Williams. They've got Lawrence uh, Toafili back, and Toafili scored their first touchdown. It looked like Florida State was going to cruise against Georgia Tech. They scored uh, the for, uh, on their first possession in, in dominant fashion. Then they had a, a, a two-point conversion that they fooled Georgia Tech on to, to take an 8 nothing lead, uh, and that was really it, highlight-wise. For the Seminoles, uh, Uyagalele finished with just 193 passing yards. Uh, both Williams and Toafili found the end zone, but the Knowles finished with just 3.2 yards per carry and only 98 rushing yards. So they'll be looking to improve on that. Boston College is uh, playing under veteran NFL head coach Bill O'Brien. He spent uh, some time at Penn State in 2012 and 2013 with the Nittany Lions, but most people know him from his uh, stints in the NFL as an offensive guru. Um, with the uh, Nittany Lions, he did uh, have a uh, uh, some success. He went 15-9, and nine, and he inherits a team that went 7-6 and six last season uh, and posted a Fenway Bowl victory over SMU, somewhat of a home game for them. Uh, the Eagles won't come in here uh, into Tallahassee, uh, thinking that they can't beat the Seminoles. They lost only 31 to 29 at Chestnut Hill last time these teams played. And uh, quarterback Thomas Castellanos is back. He's a dual threat, really strong arm. He's a little short, but uh, you know, a, a guy that really gets after it, fearless, extremely fast. He started his career at UCF, uh, played well with uh, John Rice Plumley, who uh, is now with the, the Jaguars after signing with their practice squad. Uh, started out at Ole Miss, did Plumlee, and did a really nice job at UCF. Uh, Castellanos, a very similar type of quarterback, strong arm, uh, and uh, can really be elusive in the open field. So the Knowles will be up against it on the defensive end, especially if Boston College fares as well up front as Georgia Tech did. Uh, FSU has defeated the Eagles in uh, in six straight times winning 12 of 13 outright and they've covered in six of the last eight meetings despite failing to do so the last two times that they uh played in chestnut hill their only loss has been a 35 to 3 loss in uh, 2017 to bc so this is the uh only college football game on a monday night for quite some time and it is your monday night football offering 
until the NFL gets going. So a lot of people will be tuned into this contest on ABC. I say let's make some money on the dog. Uh, BC should be able to stay within the 17 points, 16 and a half, 17. We'll see what the number does on Monday, but it, it has come down some. Uh, don't feel bad if you didn't get the 21 because it wasn't available long. Uh, but I think that Thomas Castellanos will play well. Uh, if I had to make a call on the total, I would say that going over 50 points is probably my call. A lot of speed on the field. Roy Dell Williams and Toa Feely are uh, – Minus 155 and minus 140 as an anytime touchdown score. I wouldn't sleep on Castellanos. Um, he is plus 180. And again, he's such a good scrambler that it would not surprise me if he finds the end zone. Uyagalele is at plus 105 and is certainly a threat to score via quarterback sneak. Although, again, uh, the Knowles do have Toafili and Williams if they want to hand off the ball in short yardage situations. So our play, Boston College plus 16 and a half, 17 on Monday night from Doe Campbell in the Sunshine State Capitol. Smash that like button for me and make sure you're subscribed to all of our videos here at Wager Talk TV so you never miss a play. Make sure that you check out all of our specials. We've got some good ones at both Wager Talk and Sports Memo. Uh, you can look at the site and see what fits you best Pair up with a handicapper or three and make some money this season with the NFL coming, college football now underway, and so many other sports that we specialize in, from baseball to women's basketball, NBA's coming up in a, a, just a, less than two months. Uh, and then obviously we've got some international soccer, MMA. So make sure that you don't miss out on what we have off to offer here at the Wager Talk and Sports Memo family of handicapping sites. I'm Tony Mejia. You can follow me on Twitter at Mejia De Niro. Check me out on my page at sm.buzz slash TDM. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful weekend, a great Monday, a profitable September, and I'll catch you next time.